Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the seven different ways to make money in New World and comparing each one and telling you guys the best way to make money out of these seven methods. So the first money making guide today is going to be talking about soul motes specifically and then moving on to each and every moat, talking about where to get them, how much money each one's worth, and the lodestone that comes with it. So here you're going to be able to see that I'm getting about 15 to 16 soul motes per, which in this case is quite a bit of money. So let's get right into the video. If you guys haven't seen the previous video, Fastest Gold, we had Eden Grove and Reek Water compared. It was a great little video talking about how to make money in different methods as well. So we do these all the time on the channel. So if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. So let's get into the seven different methods of making money in New World and compare each and every one. So before we look into the price of each moat, I do want to say that the mining level requirement is level 50 and the spawns of each node is going to be around 14 to 20 minutes per spawn. So make sure you realize that and have a route that does work accordingly. We'll talk about routes here though in just a minute after we find out which moat is making the most money and we're going to find those specific routes for my server. So the first thing we're going to do is everybody should be doing this. If you're looking to make money and you want to try this method out or these methods out, type in moat on your auction house. We're going to find out which one sells for the most. So we'll start with air moat and go down. Air moat selling for looks about 84 to 90 cents. So it's probably not going to be a winner. There's a lot of other great moats that sell for much more. Death moat being one of them. Death moat sells for about 168. So we're going to say a dollar 68. I know these aren't dollars. Obviously it's gold, but 168 for the death moat. Uh, we also have obviously more notes that are going to sell for more earth moats, not going to beat it. It's going to be about 125. I've looked these up obviously prior to this, making sure it was still a viable method. Fire moat is at 225, so a very, very solid start for fire moats. We jump into life moats, we see about 112. And by the way, this doesn't mean you have to go for fire moats so far. You can obviously go for a mix or uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this, like I said, when we talk about locations and where you should be going. But life moat and fire moat, it looks like fire moat's going to be winner, so f the winner, sorry, so far. Uh, soul moat's actually going to beat it. So soul moat's going to be up to $3.10. And then the last one is water moat, which gets beat by soul moat yet again. So it's going to be soul and fire, which are definitely the winners of our server. And I would assume that this is going to be the case across the board for most servers. So they may not be the exact same price as, you know, over $3 per but uh, it's going to be a very, very nice price for us to get started on looking for soul moat spawns and finding a nice location for them. We'll go over each and every spawn location now through what we call newworld-map.com. This is a great little website where everybody can go and take a look at the different ways to farm resources. So we're going to full screen this real quick, and we're also going to hide all. The first step when you get to newworld-map.com is hide all. Then you go to cities and others just so we can get an idea of what we're looking at, and we're going to click everything besides, um, really besides Vista, and we're going to close that. We're also going to go over to essences, and at this point, you can select all just to kind of see what everything's looking like when everything's selected, and you can see that there's a lot of different places to actually farm if you're just looking to grab any of these you know, there's a lot of different personal routes you can make. Uh, one of the favorites of mine that's been overtaken here recently, I just actually tried it out before this video, before I thought it was going to be uh, just comparing two different routes again, like we did in previous videos. But, uh, you know, I went over to Great Cleave. I went down here because death motes are worth a lot, and uh, you also have soul worms, which are worth quite a bit, because like we said, soul motes worth a lot. Uh, great cleaves, you know, just overrun with people, uh, unfortunately, farming these moats. But there's a lot of other great options. So we're going to focus in on those today. But let's start out with soul essence and fire essence, because those are going to be the two main primary, I would say, ways to make money when it comes to essences in New World or moats, I should say. So let's take a look. Let's take out earth. Let's take out death. Let's take out air. Let's take out uh, water. Let's take out life. So now we're down to, like I said, those soul sprouts, soul spire, and soul worms. And then we're down to dragon glory, scorch stone, and salamander snail. So those are going to be the ones we have selected. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit, see if we can find a pattern of where most of these lie. It looks like this would be a great way to go, right? So you go to Restless Shore, you go to this top shrine, you can actually take a route with Scorch Stone here everywhere on the way up all the way to Morningdale's town. It's a decent route, but not the best. You know why it's not the best? Because there is one that follows Everfall 
ever so perfectly, and it's mostly soul sprouts. So you can teleport in Everfall to this top, or really north side of Everfall, and you can run this route across all of these, and there's a couple different, you know, you have Dragon Glories, you have Soul Spire, you have uh, more Dragon Glories and Soul Worms, and by the way, if you get the highest tier resource on some of these, you're not looking at three gold anymore on Soul uh, or Dragon Glories, you're looking at a lot more gold. So I'm not going to talk too much about those because those are inconsistent and you have to get kind of lucky. But this isn't going to be my favorite path just because as well, I love Everfall. So I typically teleport to this shrine here. I would run up here. I would start grabbing these soul sprouts. These mobs around you are going to be so weak that you're going to be able to one shot them. If you have a rapier, just flesh through them and it'll be a quick reset as well and give you more movement speed. You can go in here as well right by Starstone Barrows and get quite a bit more moats. Uh, if we go down a little bit farther, you're going to see Windsward also has a path you can take. So you can have many, many different paths. Like I said, go to newworld-map.com. This is going to be where you can find your specific path that you like. Another one I really like is over here in Monarch's Bluffs. So you can use this teleport shrine here, and you can actually take a lot of these resources very, very quickly. Um, and then you can always recall and make a pattern. So let's say the first pattern would be start in Monarch's Bluffs. You teleport straight to this shrine. You gather all the resources nearby this shrine. Then you teleport out of there or recall to Everfall. And then you teleport from Everfall because, you know, you have to recall or be at a shrine. So if you want to run back to the shrine, then teleport. That's perfectly fine. But basically from there, we're going to go up to Everfall. We're going to run this path now instead. After the end of this path, you have this shrine to use to teleport. And from there, we can teleport to another location. That's kind of the route you're going to want to take here because there's a lot of different viable options. So you could always come down to Cutlass Keys. There's a lot of Scorch Stone and Dragon Glories down here. At the bottom of Cutlass Keys, you're going to be able to see Scorch Stone, Dragon Glories all over the place. So definitely a not a bad spot as well. But this is just if we're looking for fire in soul motes. If you have any of the other essences, we'll go into smaller details on those. So if we bring out life, water, earth, death, and air, because they're all about one to two gold per moat. And you're getting about 15, by the way, per moat. So these are crazy, crazy gold. Um, we'll actually run the path one time here. And I'll give you guys kind of an understanding of how much you can make an hour just running in my opinion, the best being soul and fire with my server being, you know, about three gold per moat. We'll run that exact route that I mentioned earlier being the Monarch's Bluffs to Everfell to Cutlass Keys. And I'll, I'll give you kind of an understanding about how much gold you can make an hour. But this is going to be with all of the other moats that are not fire and soul. You can see that there's a ton of great routes you can take. So every single node is about 15 gold at the very, very least, because usually you're getting about 15 moats and they sell for about one gold a piece at the very low end, which is great because that basically means 15 gold per node is insane for a lot of these nodes being so close together. Definitely if you're not looking for one specific node, but you're looking for multiples, let's say you get a 30 bomb on one of these fire or soul moats, you're gonna be looking at anywhere between 90 to 100 gold. And that is just crazy because like I said, moats for fire and soul are about three gold a piece. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit here. I just wanted to compare the seven moats, the price of them, some of the routes that you could take. I don't wanna to go too much into detail on the uh, you know these lower tier routes because they're everywhere. So really anything can work if you're trying to like kind of just accept all of the different moats as you know possibilities you can see why i loved great cleave though there's just so much here right you can do everything here uh it does seem like that one like i said has gotten kind of overtaken and a lot of people are over there but there's just a lot of different options let me know which route you take to collect moats or if you just kind of stay away from the moat game altogether i do like as well if you guys take a look here at uh, not morningdale but restless shore you can see that there's a lot of great spring stone over here earth shell turtle and a floating spine fish up here as well so you can take this portal and or not portal but uh <laughs> this shrine and you can actually collect quite a bit up here as well so a lot of different routes you can combine together i don't want to give you just one or two but there's a lot of them out there so definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below i'm excited to kind of see more about where you guys go every single time you go out and hunt these moats thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'll see you guys all in the next one.